Hey all, Board Game Rancher, where you'll find everything solo, tabletop, gaming, and more. And I'm just gonna give you a very quick sample of what it's like to play CO2 Second Chance solo. Let's have a look. Okay, it is 2010. Now playing across four decades. Each decade I get four turns. Just kind of explain as I go here. I need to build some power plants. What do I need to build? I need to make sure I build on Asia or I'm going to get penalized a little extra. And ooh, I need to complete a summit that includes the topic of wind. Well, not likely because these, these require a lot of scientists. At least three here, four there. Okay, well, I may have to forego that one. But I can build in Asia. Uh, in Asia, let's see here, I want to perhaps build a, hmm, submit plans to get some, yeah, let's do that. Oh, water. Water will give me something. This will give me a free scientist. Okay, so we're going to submit some plans here. I have to, I have to propose some plans anyway. Propose, place new project tile check the region's agenda so let's see making sure in asia which is right here yep asia wants hydro if there was no hydro symbol i couldn't do it so i couldn't build a hydro plant in oceana because they don't want one um, i'm going to place this plan right here it's going to cover this up which means i'm going to get those technology cubes which are used for various things um, and then I go up on my knowledge in Hydro, because I am starting to put plans out there. And then, let's see here, then I can take a free action up here. I can play a card, executive action. You may take each one once. I'm going to play this one. I submitted some plans. It's, there's that symbol right there. And I submitted those plans on top of a space that looks like that. So I'm going to get a free scientist. Excellent. I'll take this scientist. Whenever you get a scientist, too, you can move up on any knowledge track. Well, let's see here. What are some of the tracks I need to move up on? Well, I need to get halfway up this track to have it not counted against me. So maybe I'll just continue up on that water track. Yeah. Got a free move. I could have picked anything. Also, too, I can move a scientist as an executive action. Move one scientist from my hand. This is my hand to a project or a card. So I could move one here and get two bucks. He'd have to stay there forever. But instead, I'm going to go out here to this project. And once you move scientists from a project to a summit, then that's how we will complete those summits. Anything else I want to do? Market? I don't think I want to buy or sell any CEPs. I do want to take another action, though. In solo, you can, you can take another action if you increase your CO2 levels by a smidge. So I've done that. I'm going to get to go again, but I can't take the same action twice in the same turn. I'm going to prepare an infrastructure. I have to pay a CEP. That's one of these. Boop, boop, boop. And uh, move a scientist, if any. So there is. There's a scientist here. I get to move him now from water to any other. He's going to, he's going to talk. During the summit, it's going to take place. Um, let's do. Sure, let's just do an easy one for now. Paris there. He's going to speak on hydro. And I just got to get a speaker on solar. Scientist over there. But um, so I moved a scientist. If any, I got a free move on that one. Receive the benefits. This says I'm going to get three. Three dollars. Technology cube and a CEP. OK, wow. So a little of this, a little of that. There's my. Technology cube from the bank. And then I'm going to get $3 from over here. Boop. Okay. Money, money, money. And then, uh, what was the other thing? Oh, a CEP. So I get that CEP. Carbon emissions permit from the stock, from the bank there. we got to flip the tile and place an infrastructure token. So flipping this tile... And then I take a, an infrastructure token from, from my color, slot it right in there, boom. Infrastructure has been created. And, ooh, 
Okay, no. I couldn't play any other card anyway because I've already taken that action. I'm done this turn. So I'll scooch everything back. And then I'll scooch this up to turn number two. Now, mm -hmm, well, let's see here. To build that water plant, I need $9. And I've got one of those and I got one of those, but I still need nine bucks. And I've only got six. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to propose another project. <clears throat> I needed to potentially get solar in on the solar action. So maybe I'll take this solar. Um, hmm, I can start competing. This is the random cubes that uh, were put out to uh, have to compete against, take control of an area. Looking over there, I can see I'm going to have to put build a power plant on Africa. Solar I need to move up on and solar. So yeah, we'll go ahead and place this. This needs solar. Africa does. Yeah, and we're going to place it right. Well, we need money. This is not a good place to get money. So I'm going to go over here because this says you get money in accordance to how many CEPs are related to, in this case, North America. Dang, North America is not over there. Ugh, how much money do I need? Two and doing three more. I just need three more money anyway. So, yeah, I'm going to go over here. I'm only going to get three bucks, but... Mm. I need to build something in Africa, and I'm going to do it. So I'm going to do that. I'm only going to get $3. So let's see, I covered up that. Yeah. Three bucks, but that's going to be enough to build my hydro plant. And in covering this up too, I get first knowledge and solar power. And then again, I can move a scientist. I'll move the scientist I have available right onto there. Have him start doing some research on that. Now, oh, playing cards. Did I do anything that I could do? No. But here's what I want to do. I want to play this card. So it says when I build a hydro plant, I get a little bit more of a knowledge boost. So, well, I haven't built that yet, have I? So I'm going to take that action. Build a power plant. Pay the cost. So that's going to be for a level one, nine bucks, one CEP and one technology cube. One CEP, one technology cube, paid, paid, and then nine bucks. There's exactly nine billion dollars. So now I can build this cool shaped hydro plant here. And it's going to go right on top of there. Pretty nifty. And I move it to, I slot it in the furthest spot to the left if I was looking from that side of the board over on 2010. So there is that. Place that power plant. I'm going to earn the victory points associated with that, which is six. In the solo game, you start off with 20. You're going to need it because you're going to lose a lot of victory points. In the early game, place a control cube and check region control. Here's my Control cube, that's going to go in the hydro spot. I am not competing against the other color at all, so I gain control of this area, Asia. And so now I can use its CEPs for payment, as if they were my own. Yes, I'm already down to one, so that's going to be a big help. Now, when I did that, I built that hydro. I can use, well, I already did the scientist, I'm going to play another card. And I'm going to get a bump up in Hydro. There we go. And a bump up again. I get a free bump in my solar knowledge. Okay, so there's that. There's that. Do I want to buy or sell? Nope. I'm not going to buy from the market. Done with that round. We reset. We come over here. Scooch that up. Now. Oh. Oh. When I did this, I had to go up. I had to increase that by another 10 ppms. Parts per million there. CO2 levels going up when I take that extra action. I get the first action for free. But now what do I want to do? I think I want to do an infrastructure. I'm going to pay one. But now I can pay one from an area CEPs that I control, which is Asia. So I can pay this. 
and move scientist yes i can move this scientist so he has learned so much over there he's prepared to put, give a summit on in paris about solar energy then i'm going to get the benefits here that's three technology cubes he's really come in handy you really need these late games especially to pick up these un goals which i have to accomplish seven of ten of these which means i have to have built basically these kind of power plants and then i have to take a free action to claim the card and it costs me technology cubes to do it but i have to get seven of ten of those at least or i lose the solo game um flip tile place infrastructure got it boom infrastructure for hydro or blah, 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 solar in place now i don't have anywhere near the money i need 10 million billion dollars to create uh, that so all i can do now is a proposal which i will do increasing that <clears throat> i'll see here when i built that infrastructure did i have any cards here that allowed anything no nope. when i build infrastructure for forestry or recycling no nope. i get an extra three bucks if i sell using that card mm, that's that's actually pretty good i might do that but for now, I'm going to go ahead and propose a new project. I think I'm going to propose. What else am I going to need? I'm going to need some recycling plants. I'm going to need to do some recycling stuff over here. Um, let's do a recycling plant. Those are cheap, too. They're much cheaper in general. Who needs recycling? Uh, and I might want to do it on Oceania, Africa, Europe, or Asia. So Asia, I've already taken care of. I've built a power plant on asia i can flip this over boom i'm not going to get dinged for that environmental goal this round recycling where do i want recycling how about Ooh, i could tie them right there south america do i need now nothing needs in south america europe oceana yeah yes and yes but what else am i going for i think i'm going for these scientists too so Recycle, recycle Europe, Europe. Let's do Europe. Okay, in Europe, I'm going to, and I need money. So I'm going to place this here. I get to go up one on uh, recycling, I'm starting to get to know my recycling. And I'm going to get money equal to the number of CEPs here. That's going to be five big ones. Yes. And, um,. Oh, and then I could have moved a scientist over there if I had one. I do not have a spare one. However, now I'm at the end of... Oh, you know what? Let's do this. We're going to go ahead and we're going to sell the CEP. So we're going to sell this. The current market price of three. When you sell, you reduce the price of the market. So it's down to two. But I got three. And then I can use this to play a card as an executive action. I've sold the CEP. And I'm going to get three more dollars so i'm going to get a total of six that is going to give me the money i need to be able to build my solar power plant excellent now now i've officially completed my turn so now you resolve any summits that are completed these two guys took up the two spots on that tile so i get my scientists back and i get to move up two spaces per scientist in any combination of solar or hydro that's in kind of basically the way the solo game is described if you want to play at a little more difficult level you can only move up one time per scientist in any combination of, of what the summit was about but i'm just playing on regular old regular old so two and two i think i'll go up um, for for one i'll go up here now that gives me a free bump in solar as it is but i've also i've officially only used one now over here I know I need to get at least to the purple spot to not to achieve that environmental goal in hydro, enough knowledge in hydro. So I'm going to go up another one. That's two. Then uh, I'm going to spend, uh, I'm going to need to go up pretty far in, in hydro. So I've got two more to go. I'll just go one, two in hydro. So I've done that and I've completed uh a summit in Paris. So a summit in Paris, it was it was 
two topics. So I've completed a two topic. So I can do either one. I'll just, I'll flip this one over. I've completed a summit that was at least two topics um, in hydro and in solar, but there is no other thing there requiring those topics. So I didn't achieve any other environmental goals, kind of a bummer. But now I have these scientists available. And so we're gonna reset. I don't think I could use those here. That was officially at the end of my turn. Otherwise I would have put one out on here on the recycling. But uh, we go back over here in the last part of the decade. Now I've got the money. Let's build this power plant, the solar power plant that costs $10, one CEP and two technology cubes, a little more expensive. So there's my 10 that and then i think i will take a cep again from i have to actually because i don't have any on my in my hand i have to take one from an area i control in asia now i get to grab these cool looking there's my hydro power plant put it there scooch that over here under the 2010 mark you always kind of go left to right as you're building power plants i'm going to get some victory points i'm going to get eight victory points i'm at 26 so now i'm at 30 Four, I'm going to place a control cube here. Now I'm tied with control cubes. Now what breaks the tie is number one to two to three. So uh, I still don't have control of Africa yet. Yellow is still blocking me from there, unfortunately. But that is okay for now. I think I will use uh, my move a scientist. I'm going to have a scientist go over here and start working on Studying up on recycling, then I'm going to bump up the pollution so I can take one more action. And we're going to start working on our infrastructure for that recycling plant. We have to pay a CEP again, so I have to keep kibitz in off Asia that I control, thank goodness. And then I'm going to move the scientist. I'm going to move the scientist to... Um, recycling. Oh, I forgot to place this. Each time you move recycle, uh, one of these guys you're supposed to get. So I should have gotten, I don't know if I did for the hydro. When I move the scientists off of hydro and solar, if I did in fact get my free knowledge, hopefully I did. If I didn't, well, I just penalized myself, but recycling, I think I'm going to go with... I know I'm going to need to do recycling in a three. So let's do this one right here. Looks like a good one. Sure. We'll start working in there in Caracas. Start holding the summit there shortly. And anything else I can play? Oh, I don't think I, I didn't even complete it here. Move scientists can receive the benefits. So I'm going to get $5 and a CEP. Perfect. Whenever you get CEPs, you always take them from the market. And when you take them from the market, the market closes, goes up in price. I'll put two more there. <clears throat> but the market is now closed. So if market is, is it is closed now, basically on that action. But um, yeah, but I got uh, the CEP and the $5. And then I flip this over and I notch in another infrastructure. Go. Crab. And I think that that is it for now. Now I'm going to end my turn, but I wanted to see what else. Okay, did I build? I just built a. Okay, I built a solar power plant. I'll flip that over. Um, I built in Africa. And I haven't finished my recycling plant yet, so that's good. So, so here I have reached the halfway mark. These mean you got to reach the end of the knowledge track. This just means you have to reach the purple spot in the track. So I, I've reached that. There's that purple spot. I've gotten up that far in knowledge. I can flip that environmental goal over. Um, and then, yeah, and then there's the summits. Okay, so I am I'm currently done. I'm going to reset, reset. Moving on in 2010, I have to go here. I get uh, my income. So we look and I basically get well, the number above there. So three plus four is seven, eight, nine. I get nine money. 
but you can actually kind of set this off to the side. You, I may need that in victory points because um, you can decide you want to take it in victory points or money or some combination. And so I'm going to set that off to the side as I go here. And this tells me, check out your environmental goals. And in the first round in 2010, I lose one point per environmental tile that I didn't complete. That's a lot of them. So I'm going to get minus one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. This counts double. Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. And it just counts double because this cube was above it. This cube's gonna move. There's a, a, a mechanism for moving that around, creating focus each decade. So what did I say? 17? <laughs> I think it was 17. So I lose that many in victory points. So 34 minus 17 is well, 17. So that goes there. That's not bad, but now we have to go over here and uh, we have to meet every nation's energy demand and everybody needed a power plant. So wherever I didn't build a power plant where there's 2010 uncovered, they're going to take the cheap and easy route. They're just going to build a polluting type of power plant to meet their energy needs and it's going to be a ding against me. So I'm going to reach in this bag and we'll just start uh, here with Europe and work our way around. So 20, they built, uh, not, the, not the worst polluting type, but I placed, it gobbles up a CEP as they build a power plant. It moves this up two, or 20. So I have to move up two spaces on there. And then we're gonna go over here to Siana, number 20, that's not too bad. Eats up another CEP, this moves up two. And I'm reaching in here, getting lucky so far with these. Another 20, there's 30s and 40s in there too. So I'm getting lucky, but that just means I'm gonna get unlucky later. One, two, so now I'm at 500. If that ends up past 500 at the end of this round, there's a way I can knock it back down though. I need one more, here's 30. So this is this is a, a oil type plant. I don't know if those, what kind, kind of those, there's a type of them, but anyway, thematically. So I place that there and 30. So I'm basically, I'm at 530. The way I keep track of it is that I just go one, two, three back. So now, if I want to scooch that back, I have to lose victory points equal to how many times I want to scooch it back. And in this case, that's going to be one. And I want to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I have to, to lose thirteen victory points down to four to be able to reset this all the way back to four hundred, so that I'll have access to more actions and whatnot next decade and that'll be in 2020 this is going to go back there i managed to uh i've got a little bit more money to work with here now to uh, go forward and build more power plants i've already got a uh, 15 billion dollars to work with here but now at the end of 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 the decade of 2020 every unfulfilled environmental goal i lose two victory points for and each space I want to move back on this pollution track, I have to lose two victory points. So that is that is big. That uh, and then, as you can imagine, in twenty thirty, I lose three per unfulfilled, and in twenty forty, four victory points per. So it gets very expensive, and so um, that's how the game will go. But of course, I'm going to be covering, you know, hopefully completing these as I as I go on. And eventually, you know, I also have to keep in mind, I need to complete seven out of 10 of these. Once I start building all these power plants, I can start knocking these UN goals out. Um, oh, here's here's a thing. This goal, I have to build three power plants here or I'm going to lose the game. I have to build uh, for my solo goal. I have to build three power plants before the end of 2020. I need to have built three of the same type of power plant by the end of the game is another goal. I need to have built two infrastructures in in one continent area, which is pretty easy to do. But that's the, about the only easy thing I see to do. <laughs> there you go. Hopefully that gives you an idea of what you're looking at in a game of solo. CO2, second chance. Until next time, I'm Board Game Rants. Thank you so much for watching, and I'm out.